Well, welcome everybody, Smithy here, and today we've got a tutorial for you. For those who have been following my uh, Fossils and Archaeology series, and then now the Jurassic Craft series, uh, I want to show you how to uh, get from fossils to dinosaurs in Jurassic Craft, because it's slightly different. If you want to go and have a look at the Fossils and Archaeology Revival mod uh, tutorial, I've done that one as well separately. Uh, but this one is solely for Jurassic Craft and uh, how to get uh, fossils all the way up until the dinosaur eggs and hatching your eggs. So let's go and have a look. So as you can see, I've got everything set up, ready to go. Starting from the fossils over here through the uh, items that you need to create your eggs and then finally to uh, see how your eggs grow and then hatch out. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the fossils in Jurassic Craft and also the amber ore and tell you all about it and show you what happens. So where do we start? Right, the first thing you need to do is go and find some fossils. Uh, fossils can be found everywhere in the land once you've generated. You must generate a Jurassic Craft world to find the fossils. And now let me just show you the sort of places you will go and find them. Now the best way to get them is go and find some ravines because you will find the fossils everywhere. They look like this and they also look like different colours. There's some more down here. They have got the consistency of iron so you'll find as many of these as iron and at the same levels as well. So that's what you're looking for and once you pick them let's go and see what you get inside. So in terms of the fossil blocks then what happens is you will break them and get numerous things. There you go you can see the fossil there. Uh, and then you start collecting them. I did have those. There was two straight away. Uh, it's quite uh, unusual not to get any in, say, 12 blocks. But also it's not that, as you can see, uh, not... Oh, we haven't got any there, have we? We've got four so far. Yeah, so sometimes the blocks do not give you what you're looking for. So what you will get in the blocks, you will get bones, you will get... Uh, sand, you will get uh, sandstone, you will get uh, cobble, you get these coloured uh, blocks from these type of uh, fossil blocks, you can see there, you get some of those, and what you're really looking for are these, which is the fossils, that's what you need, because you need those uh, to actually make your dinosaurs. Now, much rarer in the world are these amber ores. Now, each amber ore always gives you some amber, but these rarity are like diamonds. So where you find diamonds, you should be able to find amber ore. Now, that I'll show you the differences, what you get from those in a minute. So that's what you're looking for. You need the fossils and you need the amber ore to start with. So where do we go then? Well, what you need then is you need to be able to get the DNA and abstract the DNA out of these. So you will need to make a DNA uh, extractor. So here's some DNA extractors and here is the recipe. Quite simple, not difficult. You just need some iron, uh, iron, block, iron bars, a bit of redstone and some glass and you can make as many as you want of those. So what do you do? Well, literally you click on the actual extractor and you plant the fossils in. You can put just a load in together. Now you will get different things coming out of them as we will see, but that's what we're looking for. We want DNA. Now that is only 25% uh, DNA and you will also end up getting this sand and stuff like that. So what you need to find and wait for, there's a 75% DNA. So as you go through this, you will get different percentages uh, of DNA. So you're asking yourself, well, how do I get 100%? Well, that's what you need this for, which is a DNA combinator. And once you get the fossils uh, of the same, like uh, we've got three different fossils there, but that's 75%, 75% and 25%. So we haven't got any yet the same uh, DNA. So what we'll do is wait till we get a similar DNA and then we'll come back. So at the end of all that extraction, you will get a load of DNAs. Uh, these, here's one, the cola count's got 50 and 50. What you're looking for is some 100 percenters to actually grow uh, the DNAs. So they all come out in their different types. Uh, so you need to then use the combinator. So if we put a 50 percenter in there and a 50 percent in there, then what happens is the combinator will join the DNA together. So there you go, you've got a coal account which is 100%. So there's the uh, simple recipe there for the combinator, which is quite easy. There we go. 
Uh, if you've seen the funny wavy, that's because I've got uh, shaders on. I put uh, that's why it's a bit funny there. So once you get that, you will get one of these hundred uh, percent DNAs. So as regards the amber, that's a bit easier. If you find amber, look what happens. You put the amber in here and you will get lots of 100% uh, DNA, which is really cool. There you go, 100%. Triceratops, 100%. Velociraptor, 100%. So it's pure, uh, pure DNA from the amber. So obviously, because it's rarer, it gives you a lot better stuff. And you'll see them popping into here. Another Velociraptor. So you won't have to do anything with this because they're all ready to use. And we'll pop them in with all the other DNA. In fact, we need to make another chest with 100 percenters. So obviously the amber ore is the thing to find. There you go, look at all that. So we've got loads of 100% DNA, which is really cool. Now you cannot breed dinosaurs without converting the DNA. So what we're going to do now is we're going to convert it. So that means you now need to uh, cultivate the DNA. So here are the cultivators. Now the cultivators are numerous, are many. Yes, yeah, so you will see here there are many different colored cultivators. That's a really good thing in the Jurassic Craft. So how do you make the cultivators? Well, the cultivators are simple. There you go. You use iron at the bottom, uh, space in the middle, iron at the top, and colored glass. Now, quite interestingly, uh, just because it's a red cultivator doesn't mean the recipe is uh, red, as you can see here. Now, that may be just a bit of a glitch at the moment, but uh, you can see what you've got to do is try and use the coloured glass to get your cultivators. So, right, so the next thing is how do these work? Well, let's click on a cultivator. Uh, now, a cultivator needs to be filled full of water first. So, the first thing is jump your water in there. You need three... Uh, buckets of water and then you need some nutrients so what about the nutrients well the nutrients themselves the best way is put some wheat in there and you'll see here uh, you can put wheat there's numer numerous other things you can actually put in there once you have got that the next thing you to do is use your DNA so we have got a 100% DNA from the colocanth here uh, just a warning you cannot use uh, creative these ones here will not work because as you see they don't say 100% so what you do is chuck this into there and then it pops out so that's a normal thing you cannot then click it uh, but look what happens. You get this beautiful little uh, embryo in there. So what we've got to do is we've got to wait for that to give us an egg. And we know it's got an egg once it disappears again. So from there then you will get these eggs. Uh, a numerous eggs uh, on this particular uh, uh, mod. However, and that's word of warning, to do not just let the other you, thing you will uh, need go and hatch them in the middle of nowhere is without putting you'll need in a cage a pad first or in a some dino sort pad. of uh, area. Because a dino pad because will give you lots of information now, about the egg, this tutorial, about the I'm dinosaur just this egg and how here. they are. So this is the uh, quick recipe for the dino pad. Yet again, quite simple stuff. You don't need to go and find any really difficult things to make these uh, recipes. So you can't click on this at all uh, until the uh, egg is hatched. So we'll just wait for that and then we'll come back and take the egg out. As you can now see, this will be clicked on and there we got we've got a colocanth egg now you'll notice that the eggs are different uh, some come as like this where they come like little spawning eggs and some come like this stegosaurus which is exactly like similar to the eggs I have put up here there's a Gallimimus, uh that's a triceratops I think can't remember now and uh, an oviraptor I can't remember which one that is an oviraptor as well but there we go so finally what do we do? Well, we need to go and hatch these things. So that's quite simple. So what we need to do is go and place the egg on the ground. Right, so what you do is go and click there, and you click the egg down, and then you place some torches all around. Just keeps the egg warm. 
So let's have a look at the dino pad because now we can use it. You click on the egg and then it gives you the fact that it's 13% hatching. So look how fast it is going to hatch. So what we'll do is we'll just wait here for our little Stegosaurus to hatch. And be wary that you really do need to build a, a pen to keep it in and that even down to a single block. Do not leave a hole because the dinosaurs tend to do a runner on you. 35% so here we go so here we go it's going to hatch out in a few seconds or so yay there you go look at that oh he's off this is what I mean you have to make sure that you have looked after your stegosaurus there he is where's he going come out come on he is so cute uh, and then you will have to feed the stegosaurus so there you go that's how you make a dinosaur in the jurassic craft mod it's well cool <laughs> look at the an animation there it's really good so one thing i didn't mention is what do we do with the water animals this uh Deniosuchus is like a uh, uh alligator giant alligator so that's slightly different as we're going to show you so what you'll have to do is place it in the water uh, oop, there we go check the dino pad yep there you go so this is going to breed the other thing is we'll do this one let's see what happens this is a fantastic dinosaur as you will see well it's an amphibian uh, it, it's a basically alligator and it lived about 80 to 70 well 73 to 80 million years ago which is a long time ago anyway so let's go and see what this does 54% so it's not going to be long before it hatches out so we'll just wait and wait for it to hatch out right there you go right oh and he disappears and then he'll come back in a second which is quite funny really did this to me before once I get him oh there he is there he is right so it's just a bit of glitching so I can make this guy bigger it's uh, it's because it's in the sand yeah, if I use the serum, there you go. You couldn't get growth serum to make it bigger. Now, sometimes, hey, there you go. There, just wanted to show you the growth serum to how big he was. That's an alligator. Uh, growth serum is a different thing altogether, but you can uh, make that and grow that. So, a couple of bits of glitches with the new ones, but once they get back in the water, they're fine. It's just the sand. Uh, so, there you have it. That's how you do the amphibious uh, reptiles. Uh, which are quite fun. Once he goes swimming, he'll be quite uh, quite fun. Off we go. Uh, there you go. There you go. And, uh, and there's two varieties of these ones that you can breed. So that's really cool. That's the alligator. Right. Okay. So we're just going to try to call the camp and see if that will work. Oh, yes, it's working. Look, call the camp is working. Yeah, there's a call camp. Now, I think that alligator will eat the call camp, but let's just wait and see. Uh, this will be a dead diddy if I can see this there you go oh wow cool let's grow the cola can oh accidentally killed that I think must have overpowered it uh, but you can see the cola camps actually work so there you have it that's how you do the amphibious one so we'll leave that there and do a few of them that'll end up probably eating it okay back to base uh, so there you go hope you've enjoyed that tutorial uh, and uh, I think I have covered everything. Yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. And uh, that's how you get from fossil blocks all the way through to your dinosaur in the end. I'd like to say thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Where's he going? I mustn't let him escape because he'll wander off into the area where he's not supposed to. Uh, so there you have it. If you like this tutorial, please press that like button. It all helps. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Just a reminder that the uh, Fossils and Archaeology Revival mod tutorial is in a separate video and that is slightly different of how you make the dinosaurs in that mod. So there you go. Thanks very much indeed and bye bye for now.